How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a proper flight reservation online without having to pay. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple and we're going to use a tool called, or I should say a website called onwardticket.com. So the way this works is straightforward. You basically go to their homepage or your splash page, whatever you want to call it. So this is what it looks like and you want to click on book now. So to explain to you guys what this actually is, it's a database for international and domestic flights from uh, different platforms all compiled into one. So what the website does is it books the ticket for you. So it um, basically does the heavy lifting and goes through the painful process of having to, to book a ticket online with different airlines. And the reason for that is because um, a lot of airlines and their, um, I should say their user interface design for the website aren't exactly user friendly and some of them require you to enter your um, credentials and with this method it's more straightforward and you wouldn't have to uh, pay beforehand so it's actually a method where you pay on the day of which I think is pretty cool so the way it works is um, I'll just actually go back to the homepage. page you want to click on book now and you could either choose a different type of route it could be one way or a round trip you can configure it to however you want so let's actually do one way here and you basically just follow the on-screen instructions and fill out the form so let's going to uh, so let's actually um put the route here we're going from um london to ireland ireland uh dublin ireland so there's that and then we select the date that we want to uh fly to ireland let's pick um feb 20. oh wait is this is that right oh sorry Let's pick um, March 13. And we click on the arrow here. Oh. Let's put Stansted here. Stansted. Oh. And then click on go. Basically, um, enter your email address. So this is where the uh, boarding pass will be sent to you through your email. So you basically, you want to save a copy of that to take to the airport. And yeah, that's pretty much how we do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.